Here's an IGCSE exam question. And before we even get started, the alarm bells should be ringing. It says that we need to show that BCD is parallel to AFE. This means that we need to show that they are parallel. So we can't assume the angles are alternate or assume that they're co-interior. We actually need to prove that a piece of information that they have given us that we can rely on is that BCD and AFE are straight lines. Okay, so because they've told us that that is a straight line, we can use that knowledge and we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180. And don't forget to write down your proofs along the way. In this section, you get a mark for them, so it's very important. Angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. That is the reason that we're using the proof behind it. Right, now, if we were to show or prove that those two lines are parallel, then we would know that we would either have those two angles as alternate angles, and they would be equal to each other. Or we could go down that then these two angles, if I added them together, they would be equal to 180 degrees. Right, now that we have a value of x, plug in that x to our three different angles. So we're going to do all of them. You don't need to do all of them, but we will do it for the sake of the video. Now we have each of those angles, what their total is. As before, we do need reasons. So we'll say DCF is equal to AFC, now both equal to 145 degrees, alternate angles are equal. Or we can go down the route, AFC plus BCF should equal to 180, and it does, for the reason co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, lines BD and AE are parallel. I hope it helped. Have a great day.